pineapple back there I just refilled my oatmeal container I've been on an oatmeal kick lately really been into it I've also been into savory oats for dinner I know it sounds odd but it's actually quite good just you know I mean you eat like rice so why not have oats <laughs> uh, yeah so I've been enjoying that but I was responding to some of your comments and someone asked is there any benefit to the skin in taking uh, dietary supplements with niacinamide or a niacinamide supplement. You all know I'm always raving about niacinamide and skincare products. It has many benefits to the skin. It can help with hyperpigmentation. It's anti-redness. It helps skin barrier function. It can also help uh, in reducing yellowing of the skin related to photo aging. Oral niacinamide, however, or it's also called nicotinamide, which is basically vitamin B3. Um, when taken orally, it actually can reduce the formation of non-melanoma skin cancers in people who are at high risk. There was a large, well-controlled, randomized uh, study, a phase three randomized controlled trial, that showed that High risk, uh, people who are high risk for skin cancer had a reduction by 23% in uh, non melanoma skin cancers over placebo with a um, niacinamide supplement or nicotinamide supplement. Uh, so it actually is encouraged if you um, are at high risk for skin cancers to consider taking it. Um, it's thought to scavenge free radicals. And by non-melanoma skin cancers, I mean squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma, both of which are very common, more common than melanoma. Um, and so yeah, it, it definitely um, seems to help reduce that risk, so long as you take it. Uh, your risk goes back to baseline once you stop taking it. High risk people are those who have had uh, two non-melanoma skin cancers in the past five years. I would be considered high risk and that's how it was defined in the study. Um, and so yeah, I mean it's beneficial for that, but to what extent everybody needs to be taking it, there's, you know, it, it wouldn't be something that your doctor would just recommend people take willy-nilly, but in the case of people who have had skin cancers, um, it's often often encouraged. I, you know, I recommend patients to, to take it who have had, like I said, more than, who have had multiple skin cancers or have like extensive sun damage. It's pretty safe. There aren't any, you know, it's, it's generally well tolerated in otherwise healthy people. Now, the, um, it's a little different. You may, if you've ever taken niacin, now niacin is something that can cause flushing and niacinamide or nicotinamide is related to niacin, but niacinamide supplements do not cause, it should not cause that flushing or anything. So in standard doses of, of niacinamide, generally very well tolerated. Of course, anything, you know, people can report upset stomach when they take it but it's generally well tolerated and the doses for skin cancer prevention are 500 uh, milligrams twice a day or a gram a day 
Yeah, I have several videos on different dietary supplements and their uh, benefits for skin. There is some study. There are some studies showing that uh, hyaluronic acid supplements and ceramide supplements improve skin hydration. But whether or not that has anything to do with the actual supplement or just so that people end up drinking more water, it's kind of hard to say. But yeah, there is data for that. There's data for um, the hair supplement Viviscal, which is a marine collagen and improving hair density. And of course, there's always polypodium, uh, which is what is in HelioCare. There is good data for that and reducing the uh, burden of sun damage when used in conjunction with sunscreen and sun protective behaviors. And there's actually data that polypodium, aka HelioCare, can be helpful for people with melasma and improving, oh, I just got a text message. Maybe it's a package, and improving melasma. Let me show you guys the couture I am rocking today. You're gonna be jelly. You're gonna be jelly like a raspberry jelly. Oh yeah, check out the 32 degree action here. I just have this little white shirt that's 32 degrees, but then these pants, I've never worn them before. This is my first time wearing them. They're these little drawstring. They're not linen, but they kind of, maybe they're linen. I'm not sure what fabric this is. They're pretty comfortable um, and they have a little pocket. So yeah, that's what I'm rocking today. Um, I don't know if they still have these or not, but uh, they're just like good for, for summer. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to the club. I've got my little army jacket. Oh, is that what this is called? I don't know. No, it's not. I got this at Target uh, in the clearance section, like, I think, was it a year ago? Two years ago? Best purchase I've ever made. It's convenient, even though it's hot. Like, I think I've told you guys this dilemma that I have here. It's always freezing indoors, including in my car right now. I still have the AC on blasting. Um, and it's always cold in Costco. And then when you have to go in the refrigerated section, <laughs> like I find if I am dressed too scantily, then I can't stand being in the refrigerated section very long, like the walk-in freezer room where they have all the produce. It's not a freezer, but it's pretty cold in there. Yeah, I get like uncomfortable in there and I, I end up, forgetting something. Speaking of forgetting things, I need to remember to get baking sheets. Um, Cause I, I need a baking sheet. I wanna make more veggie burgers. And my little rigged baking sheet with the aluminum foil and muffin tin, that's not really working out so well for me. Um, yeah, I uh, got this at Target. Target has some good clothing. It's the Universal Threads brand. I've been happy with everything I've ever gotten. That's been that brand. I as one of the Target clothing in general, all of the brands, the quality lot it, it lasts a pretty long, a good while. Costco got in the uh, SK2 treatment essence. Two hundred dollars they're charging for that. Try the Misha one. It's quite good, actually. Um, the Misha Time Revolution. You guys, Costco got in the Sterno LED candles. Highly recommend. They create a nice ambiance. Although, honestly, I never turn them on. <laughs> From Costco, I got, of course, my frozen rice cauliflower. Got some more of the mixed squash. A thing of strawberries. Unfortunately, the blueberries, they only had the little small containers. They were really expensive and they just didn't look very good. So I was disappointed about that. But that applesauce I made last weekend was so good. I'm going to make it again this week. So I got another bag of the organic galas. And I got this Hatch flaming, Flame Roasted Green Chili. This sounded really good. Um, Earlier this week, I did a Kroger pickup and I got some of those Wasa crisps. So I thought this would be good on those. I got two containers of the organic spring mix. This stuff is so good. I did in fact pick up the baking sheets, Nordic Wear. I like that it comes with this little mini one and then you get the two large ones. 
and these looked really good the organic seaweed bugak chips they're basically seaweed and mushroom chips i thought i would give those a taste test for you guys the ingredients sounded really good together so let me put this stuff away and i will uh, taste test it for you guys all right, let's try the bugak chips. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. They, according to the bag, it's an authentic Korean recipe. And it's got glutinous rice, which is a sticky rice, seaweed, um, sesame seeds, sea salt, onion, tamari powder, shiitake mushroom powder, and ginger powder. And then it has uh, sunflower oil, and cane sugar one serving is 1 15th of this bag that doesn't seem like much uh 50 calories three grams of fat less than one gram of sugar i like that it's in a resealable bag you guys know i love my mushrooms and my sea vegetables seaweed snacks Mmm, smells good. They're pretty big. There are two silica packets in there. It looks good. Looks like it would be good with some kind of like sp spicy, spicy dip. I don't know how good it would go with the green chili uh, salsa I just got, but. Mmm. Ooh, I like that. That is really good. It tastes like nori combined with um, a rice cake, like hybridized together. But yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more. These are good. This taste test is really working out. Look how big that is. It is pretty large, large and in charge. Mmm. That is really, really good as I throw it over my shoulder. Highly recommend the Bugak chips. I didn't get any celery juice this week. I'm a little over the celery juice. I was enjoying it and now I've had my fill and so I'm done with that. It's not that I stop liking it, I'm just kind of on to the next thing. But I got at Crow Hair recently, um, I got this, um, plant-based cream cheese. So I thought this would be good on the wasa crisps with that green chili because a little hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> this is good. It doesn't taste like cream cheese, but it tastes good. I like it. It's made out of uh, butter beans and oats. It looks like cream cheese and spreads like cream cheese. And it kind of tastes like cream cheese. I've been happy with it. But if you're like really expecting the taste of cream cheese, I think it'll rattle you. Like, what the heck is that? That's not cream cheese. But for me, I thought it tasted really good. And I recommend it. I think it's going to be really good on the Wasta Crisps with the green chili salsa. Also, it would be good on those with like blueberries, which I don't have, or some kind of fruit, like a fruit toast. <sighs> Just got done with a rebounder workout. Yeah, this has been one of the best purchases from Amazon during this whole 2020 situation. Uh, I do it probably two times a week instead of running on the treadmill as my, as my workout. I just love it because it's like super low resistance. And while I'm on it, I don't, I don't actually feel like I'm really exerting myself that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. But once I stop, I'm here in the dark and it's already turning dark out outside. But once I stop, 
I, I feel it for sure. Um, I love doing these little five pound weights, basically just little bicep curls while I'm rebounding or like jogging in place on the rebounder. It doesn't, like while I'm doing it at first, it doesn't feel like much, but the reverse resistance from the, from rebounding down, see I'm out of breath, from rebounding down, totally like get you a little bit extra with your bicep curl. I was gonna turn on my, I was going to turn on my LED candles for you guys. These are the candles that uh, were at Costco. I've had them for a while. I, but I can't find the little remote control to turn them on. Anyways, yeah, they are, I feel so they always put them on sale each year. So if you're on the fence, wait for, wait for it. Cause I think sometimes late fall, they tend to put them on sale. Margo is ready for fall. Her little Converse are so cute. <laughs> this is my Blythe doll. I follow a lot of accounts on Instagram that are like Blythe doll artists because a lot of people take them and then um, customize them and they create some really unique and beautiful dolls. I, I can't think of any of the names of the accounts I follow off the top of my head. But I just put into Instagram Blythe doll and you'll find a whole community of them. You can do a delay start and you can put them on a timer. Um, Ta-da! Creates a nice little mood lighting. Highlight, what's low light? Ooh. Fireproof. Well, hey guys, I just stepped out of the shower and I wanted to share with you this. I've been using it for the past several weeks, trying it out. I mentioned in today's video in Kroger in Costco about the Misha, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on, the Misha Time Treatment Essence, how in my opinion, it's a good dupe for that expensive SK2 stuff. Um, and I've been trying out their um, Artemisia treatment essence over the past few weeks, and I, I really like it. So this is Mugwort, and I put it on to damp skin, and then over that, I put my I Am From Mugwort cream. Mugwort is anti-inflammatory and it's really good if you have irritated skin. Um, there's not like a ton of data or really any data on it, but I started using this cream uh, several months ago and I featured it in my July favorites video. And so you guys were like, you should try the Misha Artemisia Essence. Um, so I went ahead and got it and I've really been liking the combination of the two. Um, so yeah, I put it on, I put the essence on first, as you just saw, I just pat it in with my hands and then I put the, then I put the mugwort cream on over it to seal it in and I let it dry and I need to put on my moisturizer to my body. Um, where'd you go? There it is. I got my Vaseline intensive lotion here. I love that Vaseline lotion, creamy lotion. I finished up a tube. You'll see it in my empties video around the, I do my empties videos seasonally. So you'll see it like around the, um, first of fall, but I finished up the Vaseline jelly cream. Loved that. Man, I, that rebounder wore me out. Like, like I said, while I'm on it, I don't even feel like I'm working out. I'm just bounce, bounce, bounce. And then as soon as I stop, I am tanked. But I like to watch YouTube videos while I do it. I should watch a Netflix movie. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. I have a Netflix subscription. I have not watched a single thing on Netflix this entire lockdown time whatsoever. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what the whole white, what is it, uh, black panda, white panda, tiger, 
the Carol Baskins thing. I have no, like when people talk about her and they're so like passionate about whatever it is that that is about, I have no clue. <laughs> I am so out of it. You guys wanna know how out of it I am? Once I, last time I went to Ulta to film the um, Ulta Shop With Me video, I saw this um, new to me brand in there called Florence by Millie Bobby Brown. I literally thought that it was a collaboration between Florence the Machine and Bobby Brown <laughs> and somebody else named Millie. I thought it was a collab. I was like, oh, that's interesting, like a skincare line, okay. Because Bobby Brown actually has a few decent skincare products. She has a marine extract uh, like serum was pretty good. It's expensive, but it's good. And so I thought it was a, I didn't realize that this was another celebrity. <laughs> so out of it, you guys. I don't know. I, uh, hair is getting so long. I kind of, I've been contemplating for a while getting a trim, but I don't know, I kind of like it long and it it's pretty manageable. I mean, I don't wear it down for very long. I've noticed though that when I wear it down for a while, it kind of just gets on my nerves. Um, it looks nice for the first hour that I'm wearing it down and then beyond that it starts to, like different strands, they start to like want to introduce themselves to people as we're walking down the street and it gets crazy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I do contemplate at least getting a trim, but I will, I don't think I will cut my hair like as short as I had it when I first started this channel. Um, I liked having it that cut, but I don't know. I feel like I've gotten attached to having long hair. And so, yeah, my face is pretty much dry at this point. I'm gonna put on my Rene. read my book and go to sleep. I'm pretty tired. As I said, anytime I jump on that rebounder, it wears me out. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today and thank you for coming along. I hope you're having a good Saturday night, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, doing something fun. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.